It may not officially be winter yet, but it sure looks and feels like it. 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Adam Stremko is working for you with what you should do to protect yourself from the cold. Well, Ashley, if you don't take precautions protect your, to protect yourself from the cold and wind, you could end up with problems. On Wednesday, it wasn't just the cold, it was also the wind. We use the wind chill to describe the combined effect of cold and wind on your body. When your skin is exposed, heat is carried away from your body by the wind, lowering your skin temperature and eventually your internal body temperature. The colder the temperature and stronger the wind, the faster frostbite can occur. Frostbite can set in within 30 minutes when the wind chill drops to 15 degrees below zero. So when it's cold, it's important to take precautions. Scarf, gloves, uh, earmuffs like you have, uh, but just staying bundled up, uh, rather be prepared than, you know, get stuck out in the cold weather. Well, there are quite a few people that aren't big fans of the cold. There are others who embrace it. I don't mind it at all. I love to ski. I love to be outside in the winter, so I'm probably one of the rare people you'll stop and uh, who'll say, yeah, it's not so bad. I don't, I'm not even wearing a hat or gloves, so I'm okay. But if you do have to spend time out in the cold, be sure to wear a hat and gloves or mittens. Dress in layers and bring your pets indoors. And despite what you might think, wind chill only affects people and animals. It does not affect inanimate objects like your car or your house. And high temperatures today were only in the teens and 20s, and the wind chill made it feel like it was only in the single digits.